Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel today and I'm going to be reviewing the Anastasia Subculture Palette. Now let me tell you guys, I have seen so much negative reviews on this palette. I've seen Anastasia's apology. I've seen Norvina's apology. I've seen the gossip channels going crazy. I have not physically used this myself and I'm not one to really listen to anybody unless I try out something myself because I know every product is different for everybody. I'm going to use the recommendations that I saw on the Anastasia website and instructions on how to use it. I have already used All Star and I've already used a little bit of Dawn and I've swatched fudge and I haven't seen any real extreme problems. So I thought today I would review it and give you guys some answers so you guys can know what's up. I'm going to take the color Roxy and I'm going to, do you guys see, I'm going to lightly dab, I'm going to lightly dab, and yes, there is some fallout, but do you guys see the pigment though? With one swipe, the pigment was just there. I definitely feel like you can't swirl your brush in it. Because if you swirl your brush in it, oh my god, you're just going to get way too much product. I definitely don't like the fallout right here. Because that just looks crazy. Basically, I feel like once it sits on my skin, it starts to set really fast. But that doesn't mean it's not blendable. It's blendable but you gotta blend it with a light hand. You're not gonna get it if you're like going like this, but you just have to take a light hand, hold the brush from the back. I'm gonna go in with this color edge and I'm going to focus it more on the inner corners. So taking the color edge and just kind of working it in to the inner corner. Just gonna kind of loosen up my grip. And then I'm going to attach this. Remember, naturally you get really like tight on your grip when you're doing eyeshadow. Just loosen up your grip. Loosen up that grip and then blend. Now the color that everyone's been complaining about that goes on super patchy, it's this color Axis. And I'm going to take this color Axis and I'm going to put it only on the outer corner crease and focus it right there, kind of in a V motion. I'm going to use my Morphe... I think I should use a different one. Mm. I'm gonna use my MAC 217 brush. Like I think everyone owns one of these, right? I'm gonna take this MAC 217 brush, I'm gonna dip it. Woo, it's a lot of product. Dip it in there. I'm like scared to use this. I'm so scared. Because everyone says bad things about it, but I gotta have my opinion too. Okay, ready? Oh my god, it's not bad. It's a little patchy, just a little bit. But, I mean, it's such a dark color. You could definitely build it up. It's definitely buildable. But the true test is when we're going to try to build it up. That's going to be the true test. Okay, it's not covering my creases. So what I'm going to do is change my method. I'm going to pick up a little bit and I'm going to pack it on and see what it does. And now I am going to twirl it in. Now I'm going to use my brush to brush it in. Going to wipe off that excess because you don't want it to sit there. Okay, it's looking a little scary, you guys. It's not. It's not working. It's looking a little patchy. But you guys know a lot, these, when the shade is so 
bold, it does go on patchy. Like you really have to build up the color to get like the true effect. But right now, that's looking hella patchy. Let's see if we can fix it. If it's fixable, it's a good palette. Because let me tell you guys, Anastasia will not be the first brand that comes out with a palette that has a shitty color in it. They are not the first brand. So we all need to calm down. Like, literally calm down. Okay, it's more packed on now. Packed on that color. And I also got a bunch on my fucking eyes. Now I'm gonna kinda just brush it off. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to kinda try to make it more one with the eye look. Pull it out. I had to change the position of my brush so I'm not like pulling it out too much to make it like be more upwards. Okay. Honestly, you guys, I think the shade is just not cute for that skin tone. Like, I think the skin tone of this shade just doesn't look too good on people. I feel like this has just too bruisey of a look to it. Oh my god. That shit looks like a black guy right now, but maybe it'll... You know how sometimes eyeshadow looks look really ugly when you first start off? Wow. <laughs> this green is a little complicated to use. This is... I'm. This is why people got mad. The Axis color, I think a lot of people bought the shadow for the Axis color. And it's just not working. Okay. It's not doing. <laughs> looks like a hot mess. It looks like a hot mess right now. I'm not going to lie, you guys. It really does. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to go in with Adorn and I'm going to put Adorn onto my lids and see how that goes. So I'm just going, oh, not bad. Okay. This Adorn is nice. Anastasia, try to go for that 3D effect that everybody's doing right now, like that chrome. Actually, I feel like ColourPop started that trend. And then everyone just kind of started making their own versions of it. Looks pretty now. Like, now that I have that gold on, it's looking really good. Okay, now. I think I like it. Maybe that's all it is. You need to finish a look. You just need to finish the look. All right, boo-boo. Okay, boo-boo kitty. Okay. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Okay. All right. I think it looks good. I think the eye is looking... Remember, this is the bad eye, you guys. So I'm thinking it's looking good. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look that I got with this palette. <clears throat> now, let's talk about the palette. So my verdict on this palette is going... I honestly, like... Honestly, like, after this green color on my outer corner, I was going to give this palette a def 3 because I was just like, if the rest of these colors are gonna be how that green color was, then I wasn't gonna be able to use this palette because that green color axis, the sh look, it's still, do you guys see? It's like, it's like a mind of its own. It's doing its own things. It's getting patchy. It's just getting weird. Um, so I would say this color axis is what is definitely killing the palette. This is what's making the palette 
you know, really bad. This is what's making people not like it. And I think it's because everyone's really drawn to this color. I know I was drawn to this color. I knew I wanted this palette because I really, really love that color. I mean, we all have a lot of plums. We all have a lot of these shades in our collection if you're a makeup collector. Now, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 because if you're a pro person, this is going to definitely be something for you. But if you're also a pro makeup artist, your collection should be pretty, pretty big. And you're going to have a lot of these similar colors. This is a very unique color. If you're going to buy this palette for this color alone, I would say skip this palette because they really need to go back into the shops, into, no, not shops. They really need to go back in to the labs and they need to reevaluate this color because if you guys can see, it's a beautiful color, but it's still really patchy and I tried to blend it out so much and it just it was not cracking for me. It was just not happening. But all the rest of the colors in this palette are gorgeous. On my lids, I have Adorn. I think Adorn is my favorite color. Um, Roxy is also my favorite color. New Wave is one of my good favorite colors, and so is Edge. Now, I am going to continue to use this palette, and I'm going to keep this palette because I love all the colors except for Access, so I probably will not use Access. I still need to test out Mercury, Untamed, Fudge, Destiny and Dawn. Everyone's saying fudge is really bad, just like access, but I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you guys know that how I feel about the rest of the palette on my Instagram stories, which is Glam by Runa. Go ahead and check that out. Um, yeah, so I'll give this a four out of five. It's definitely a great for a pro person, someone who's for pro. Now, if you are a beginner to makeup, if you're somebody who is just a makeup collector, if you're somebody who is new to makeup. I will give this a 2 out of 5. This is not a beginner's palette. This is not for somebody to start off with. If you want to start off with the palette, go with the Modern Renaissance palette or even build your own palette with their eyeshadows that they have. They have single eyeshadows. Build your own palette with that. This is definitely not for somebody who is new to makeup. This is not beginner's friendly, so this gets a 2 out of 5 for beginners. So I will see you guys that's the end of my review of the Subculture palette. It was a very popular request. Like, everybody wanted to know what I thought about it, even though there was, like, a gazillion of crazy what-the-fuck reviews all over Instagram, but everyone just wanted to know what I thought about it. So I thought I would review it on YouTube because I want to keep my YouTube review-based and my thoughts on products and etc. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think? Did you like the look? I overall love the look. But I don't like that green. Like, the green is still really irritating me right now. So, yeah, the end of the thing. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Also, leave me a... Also, leave me a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, which all are Glam by Runa. Twitter is Glam by Runa with two Ys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.